Today I'm going to show you WinX DVD Ripper software, which is a fantastic free DVD to digital format software, and it's free, free for a limited time only. So act quickly. That's what's coming up. So WinX DVD Ripper software, why is it so good? Well, I've used it for quite a while now, and I use it for all my DVDs to digital format converting. I do quite a lot of it. I do get asked a lot of questions as well. First question that I always get asked is, will it work on encryption DVDs? Yes, it totally will. Will it work on uh, multi-regional DVDs? Yes, it totally will. And will it work on old DVDs, your home-made DVDs, any videos that you've got on lurking around in your basement somewhere on a DVD format and you want to digitize it? Yes, it will. So let's not talk any more about it. I'm going to show you exactly how to get it. Now, the way, best way to get it is to click the link in the description and it will take you to this page here. So you have to click the link in the description. That's the only one that will take you to this page right here. Now, it works on Windows and Mac, even though it, the title suggests that it's just a Windows only. Rest assured, it does work on Mac. I'm going to show you all about it because I'm using a Mac today here. Now, rest assured as well, if you haven't got uh, really expensive uh, hardware, the DVD drive I'm using, I bought from Amazon, cost me about £15, $15. I've had it for two or three years now, and it works just as well as any other expensive DVD drive that you may purchase. Now, all we have to do here, as you can see, See, it's a giveaway, giveaway right at the top there, which is excellent, right? We just have to click on whatever software you desire. Um, I've got a Mac, so I'm just going to click on the Mac and it will start to download. And then all we'll do is install it. Here we go, it's finished. All we have to do now is click on that little link here. And we've got three options here. Really good thing about this is it gives you a document of how to activate your license. So it'll hold your hand all the way through it, which is excellent. And we've also got a readme license code as well, text. Uh, message as well, our text uh, document. There we go. Right, what we have to do is click on this, the DMG file, if you're on a Mac. Now, if you're on Windows, it will be an .exe file. Uh, we just wait for it to extract. And here it is here. All we have to do on a Mac is click that and put it into your application folder. Now, if you're on a Windows, it would just be following the on-screen instructions. All we have to do, we'll close that down and just to prove that it's actually in our uh, applications, here it is here. So we just click on that here. Just click on open and here it is here. Very, very simple to use this one, extremely easy to use. That is the kicker about this software. It's so simple to use. Now, I've, I've already got a DVD in my drive here. So all we have to do is click on disk and it comes up with gross anatomy, which is this here. So here we are. If you don't know any of what these mean, I would click on auto detect. That is my um, recommendation. In fact, for all these sort of things, I would recommend just, if you don't know what you're doing, just click on the recommended um, instructions. So we just click on OK. And it's going to load up the disk. Now it's going to ask me what I want to output it to. Now MP4 is the recommended format. It works on pretty much every device. But if you've got another uh, preference, an Apple device, for example, here we go, we've got iPhone, iPad, iPod. You just click on whatever you want here, Final Cut Pro, for example, or maybe you've got an Android device. Here we go, Samsung iPad, Amazon Video Pad, Google Pad. You know, all these different kind of uh, bits of hardware that you may well have. Microsoft device, Sony device, there's so many here. YouTube, Facebook, anything like that. So they're all preloaded, which is excellent. I'm just gonna go for the general profile, which is MP4. I'm not gonna keep, touch any of these little, I'm just gonna keep it all on preset and click on done. All I have to do now is put in a destination folder. So I'm just gonna put that to the desktop. And then all I have to do after that is click run. And there we are. It's going to do all the work for us. And uh, now all I have to do is fast forward to when this is finished. And here we are. We're done. 
Now, how long that takes depends on your hardware. It really does. Uh, um, spoiler alert, it took mine about an hour, but mine's very, very old and it's very basic. Uh, but that's pretty much standard, to be honest with you. But it can do up to, can do it in five minutes um, if you have the correct uh, processor, basically. I don't, so mine takes a little bit longer. But not to worry, I don't mind that. So here we are. If I just click on that, that's the file here. And you will see that it is here. One of the best logos ever. I really miss Touchstone Pictures logo. But as you can see, full movie is there. Gross Anatomy, pretty good film. I actually quite enjoyed it. Uh, Daphne Zuniga, uh, you never hear from her again. She's very good. And Matthew Modine is especially good in the title role. I have to do that so I can keep it on YouTube. I've got to give a little bit of critique. Uh, so I'm following the rules. That's how simple it is. I'm going to get into a little bit more detail about it. Uh, right, what have we got here? Well, at the very top here, uh, that's your aspect ratio. That's uh, whatever English language. Now, you, you've got other things here. Now, these will probably be other uh, languages that will be built into the DVD. So you can click on one of these if you wish and use that. Now, it hasn't got subtitles on it at the moment, but you can put subtitles on it if you wish. But first I'm going to do is click on this little cog here. And then we can change, again, we can change whatever format we want to put it on, just like we did before. Uh, we can change the video codec, we can change the bit rate, we can change the frame rate, if you like. Uh, we can change the aspect ratio. Uh, we can change the, revolution, the resolution. You can actually force it up to 1080p. I've done that before, and it actually does give very good results. So you should really give it a try. Uh, you can change the audio codec, you can change how many channels. So if you want to put it in the original 5.1 soundtrack, you can use uh, six channels there. Change the bit rate and the sample rate. There's quite a lot of flexibility, flexibility with it. Now, you can also edit it to a certain degree as well. And this is what this tab here, when you click uh, the little edit tab there. You can also trim it as well. You might not want the full... You know, maybe there's a big long introduction, maybe you want rid of that. You can trim it out. You can do, put a start time, you can put a finish time. Uh, you can also put in your own subtitles. If you can download subtitles off the internet, uh, you can then place them in here. All you have to do is enable subtitle and then add them in there and it'll ask you uh, whereabouts on your computer, you know, it is to add it. And you can also select where you want the subtitle, bottom, uh, which is, where I would recommend it, uh, the top or even the center and also the language. So there you go, I really wasn't lying. It's so simple to use and so straightforward and it is free if you click the link in the description, but you have to be fast, it is for a limited time only. But if you do miss out, it's only $30, which I think is extremely reasonable for a piece of software like this that is so, so very simple to use and very reliable. I like it, I've used it for about a year now. I really do like it a lot. So I hope you like it as well. Let me know if you've got any problems uh, at all with the software, put them in the comments section and I will do my best to try and help you. If you like this video, please leave a like. Really would appreciate it if you like this video and um, share it as well and subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of videos and I'll see you later. Stay safe. Bye-bye.